Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Charlie Hernandez on the line. He's founder and CEO over at Crediverso. Charlie? Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. I'm a really big fan of your podcast. I think you're doing great work over here, so I'm really happy to be here today. Oh, man, you're too kind, and uh, and I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm excited to get into what you're doing over at Crediverso. Um, so I know that you're you're helping some underserved communities, um, and you're also helping with financial education. It's really important. So this is a money podcast, so let's just get right into the money. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Absolutely. Happy to talk about it. So Crediverso is an online financial products marketplace, and we're designed for U.S. Hispanics. So we provide easy-to-access bilingual tools that help consumers understand complex financial decisions like how to pick the right credit card or how to apply for a mortgage. Uh, we also offer a ton of educational resources like a step-by-step guide on how to get a free credit report, how to make sure you get your stimulus check, things like that. And importantly, we provide independent and unbiased reviews about all these financial products and they're all written by top experts in the financial field so you know our writers have been featured in places like forbes yahoo finance fox business usa today uh, i've also offered a few pieces myself um although I, I think my invitation to the wall street journal might be getting lost in the mail <laughs> uh, but now you can think of us as a uh, a credit karma for hispanics and i think mm. the important distinction is that everything on our site is totally free uh, so we're basically trying to help you make safer, more confident financial decisions and ultimately save more money. Um, so, for, for example, Adam, uh, you can go on our site and compare credit cards side by side and choose the one that has the lowest interest rate, gives you the most cash back, or, for example, doesn't charge you a fee if you're using it when you're visiting family in Mexico. You can go on our site and get information on small business loans or student loans. You can see all the options out there for how to get a free credit report, and we'll show you which ones are actually free. So, you know, as far as I know, we actually are also the only place on the web where you can see English to Spanish translations of complicated financial terms that are explained in a way that actually makes sense. So that's kind of what we're all about at Crediverso, and uh, happy to talk about it a little bit more. So uh, tell us a little bit more. I want to spend a little bit more um, time on the problem that you're solving. I mean, obviously, you didn't just dream this up. You didn't just say, oh, we got it. I want to go help this market. Like you did your research. You, you kind of knew some of, the, some of the challenges and the problems there, and you've, you found a problem, and that's what you're looking to fix. So tell us a little bit more about the problem, because I don't want to assume the audience understands that. Yeah, thanks, Adam. I'm really glad you asked that, because that's something that's uh, very near and dear to me. Uh, our mission as, uh, as I like to think about it, is to be the trusted financial resource for Hispanic consumers. You know, I personally turned down a job on Wall Street and invest in banking to found this company because I think it is that important to give our community and others like it access to the tools that they need to build stronger financial futures. So we offer a platform that brings financial information to what I feel has been a highly underserved community that is incredibly entrepreneurial, but just has not been given the same level of access to financial information as other communities have. We are trying to change that landscape, changing the landscape for Hispanic families in the United States. And if we can be the difference between someone, for example, getting a student loan so they can go to college or improving their credit score so they can take out a small business loan and start a company, or even just something as simple as not going into credit card, getting credit card debt, that can have a really big positive impact on a generational level. And I think the reason why this is such a big issue, as you mentioned in your question, is that, you know, I know you know there are a lot of companies competing in this space, companies like NerdWallet, LendingTree, Credit Karma. But the really interesting thing, and it, it's almost hard to believe, is that not one of those websites is available in Spanish. Their content is not. Oh, I never thought ways. about that. It's not. It, yeah, I know. It? It's, it's hard to believe. Wow. Um, and beyond huh. even just the language barrier, you know, their their content is not written in a relevant way for mm -hmm. the average Hispanic consumer. So take, for example, if I were to come to you and say, picture the television landscape in the United States, okay? Now take out the Univision, the Telemundo, and the Fox Deportes, okay? Take out all the Spanish language channels. That is what the personal finance landscape looks like in this country, and that's the problem that we're trying to solve. 
That's awesome. And one of the really interesting things you said, and I, when I when I took a look at your site, I'm like, oh, this guy's the real deal. He's actually doing that. Is you give people the option. Not all Spanish speakers want to like consume the the information in Spanish. Some want to consume it in English. Like it's some like so you you say the first thing when you hit your site, it says English or Spanish, right? No, you're absolutely right. And you know there are uh, we, we have a whole range of consumers. Uh, there are 60 mm -hmm. million Hispanics in the country, right? And you can probably look around you. You live in Southern California, as do I. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have plenty of family members who prefer to speak Spanish all day long at home, consume all their content in Spanish. And I have plenty of family members who would prefer to do so in English. Uh, mm -hmm. But the whether it's English or Spanish, uh, a lot of these products in the way that they're presented by the existing companies and exist, our competitors, really, they're just not explained well. And yeah. I think what's even more than that is that these companies don't go out of their way even to market to Hispanic. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you a stat that I saw the other day is that major financial, institu financial institutions spend on average less than two and a half percent of their marketing budget towards U.S. Hispanics. And as I mentioned a second ago, there are more than 60 million Hispanics in this country, which is nearly 20 percent of the population. So those numbers just to me don't add up now. This is also the segment of the population that's growing the fastest. And I think this is always a pretty fun stat. One in four children being born in the U.S. today is Hispanic. I, I don't know if that's going to change now that we're in quarantine. And I think that's probably a topic for another podcast mm -hmm. conversation. Uh, but it's, it, it's a phenomenally fast growing segment of the population. And the problem that we identified is just how can you justify not spending any marketing budget on them? I mean, this is a segment of the population that buys billions of dollars of financial products every year, but they're limited mm -hmm. by the information that's made available to them. Um, as I think you're probably seeing from, one of your, from some of your other guests uh, on the podcast recently, I think this is a problem that is even more important now. I think if this community didn't have access to financial information when we weren't facing down a recession, they need it now more than ever. So, you know, people mm -hmm. rely on access to credit even more during difficult economic times. And just to give you another stat that I saw recently, there was a study done by Pew Research that showed around half of Hispanics say they or someone in their household has taken a pay cut or lost a job or both. Now, compare that to a third of non-Hispanic white households. It's mm -hmm. disproportionately impacting this segment of the population. The Hispanic unemployment rate is 6%, whereas the national rate is 4.4%. So if in good times this is a problem, in our current economic situation, I'd say it is an even more important problem, and it, it has caused us to accelerate everything we're doing to try to get this information out there to be as big of a help to this community as possible. Man, that's awesome. Um, so, Charlie, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Crediverso, I mean, what's the best way for them to connect with the brand, with your team, and, and all the great things you're doing? Well, listen, the easiest way is to just go to our website, which is www.crediverso.com, C-R-E-D-I-V-E-R-S-O. And we also run all social media platforms, so you can find us on Instagram at Crediverso and on Facebook.com slash Crediverso. You can also follow me personally on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn.com slash CP Hernandez. And a lot of the content that we're putting out on our Crediverso site, uh, especially the things that I'm offering, they're going out across my LinkedIn as well. Um, always feel free to reach out to me directly. We have, uh, as I mentioned, a lot of personal finance experts that contribute to the website frequently. And if we can't find the answer, if I don't have the answer, we're happy to put you in touch with who does, you know, whether it's a credit counselor, uh, someone who can help you get out of your specific debt situation. It's all about trying to be as big of a help to the community as possible. That's awesome. Well, Charlie, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about um, all the great things you're doing over at Crediverso. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give that a subscribe, but also um, leave us some comments on the video. I mean, love to know what kind of things and projects you're working on. And Charlie, thanks again for coming on the show.